Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing from where we left off during yesterday's server crash by escaping the hunting lodge. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So what's the fastest way out of here? The balcony, obviously. Uh, up. We're gonna go ahead and skip forward through the parts that we saw in yesterday's video. And start flying it here at the fr Great work, D4. Uh, All right. Yes. Dead on. Right. I don't. Your friend. Our mission did. I'll Thank you for your patience. The nobles would rather debate who was most wronged by the king's treason. We were. Any hint? I think to fight for this. They know the wilderness better than our finest scout. All right. How do I find them? They'll be in mourning now. I made sure to light the appropriate beacons as you approach their hideout. And they will treat you with something like respect. If Senator Nebet agrees, we'll gather. Of course. All Good luck, Commander. getting on to what we should have been doing yesterday. Going out into the wilds and lighting the untamed ceremonial beacons. With any luck, it won't take us long to finish the Andoranian storyline, and we'll be able to get into the um, Neksha storyline and complete it within the course of a single video. Here's hoping. Lighting the beacon begins the trial ceremony and signals the untamed that you seek an audience. Destroying the beacon would be regarded as a severe insult. No matter what we do, we end up having to fight these people. That is their way, so... So bees it.
being back here reminds me of why we left. I hate jungles. As if you fit in so well here? Ugh, I'm just glad I can't smell you after all of this running. We honor Okoru. We honor the fallen. Offworlder! You observe our rites and customs. You show the respect due to the true masters of this world. You may speak your purpose here. Just be quick about it. I'm looking for Darth Savick. Do you know where she is? One Offworlder seeking another. Why should we be involved? Savick betrayed you. If you tell me where she is, she'll face justice. If you don't, you'll be helping her escape. Justice would be feeding her to Okoro's beasts, alongside Nebet, Petrif, and all others who spoil our world with the influence of outsiders like you. For now, we must lick our wounds and regain our strength. Kill Savik, take her prisoner. So long as there are less of your kind here, we will celebrate. The ancient proving grounds. Your city dwellers will know where it is. Savik thought she could hide a ship there. From other ignorant offworlders, perhaps. But not from us. You will find her there. Petrif, too. Now go! 
We will never suffer your presence here again. Growl, growl, growl. The shuttles were pretty well hidden, but we've got a full sensor lock. Now that we know where to look, they won't leave without us knowing. Volunteers from the city guard are ready and speeders are prepped. We can be there in minutes. Tao, Arn, you'll take the volunteers and attack from the far side. Make a lot of noise. Draw Savik's attention. I'll go on foot and catch Savik off guard. No, this is Malrev 4 all over again. That's not how I remember it. The Proving Grounds are ancient and dangerous, even without Imperial patrols. Be cautious. If you manage to find Petrif, please bring him back. The sooner he faces justice for betraying his people, the better. An exiled king can tell his own version of the story, rally supporters, and cause endless trouble. A man in prison is a memory that quickly fades. I'll do everything I can to bring Petrif back to you. We are incredibly fortunate to have you for an ally. Sensors are picking up energy blooms. Might be the shuttles powering up. Better move out. Everyone look out for each other. Stay in contact. We're almost done. Good luck out there. Select an available travel route. Found some of Savik's droids. We're going in. Hope we can make enough noise. <laughs> I think we're good. Master Zhou 
would be proud. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Do you require medical attention? Be well. Please use all products only as intended.
months during that whole thing.
not so fast. <laughs> the diversion was impressive, but I know your moves too well to be fooled by a mere imitation. Now that I see you in person, you do seem familiar. Was it Corellia? Yes, it was Corellia. You're clear for launch, Petrith. The sensor jammers will activate when you exit orbit. You'll be all but impossible to track. Await my return, dear Onderon. You shall know the splendor of my rule once again. Let's ensure a bit of privacy while we're at it. Shuttle 2. Commence aerial assault on hostiles in Zone 5. Now then. I've prepared for this day for so long. Where to even begin? You struck me down in my prime, then moved on without a second thought. Corellia would have been my tomb had my droids not found me. In truth, How unfortunate that I found you. should thank you. You made me what I am. Taught me the best way to move forward. I haven't risked direct combat in a decade. I send my droids or manipulate fools like Petrus to fight for me. But now, at last, the Force has reunited us. I've spent years studying you, crafting the ideal response to your every tactic. Shall we test what I've learned? You've carried that grudge a long time, Savik. It must feel pretty heavy by now. Don't let it drag you down into nothing. Let it go. You still have a choice. I made my choice long ago. <clears throat> Should have made a different choice. I will destroy you! I must destroy you! I never did anything for you. How does it feel? <laughs> you will never forget again. Ha! You should have finished the job. You will never forget again. You should have finished the job! How does it feel? How does it feel? I will destroy you! I must destroy you! was supposed to make me stronger. All of my rage, all of these years, it still wasn't enough. I've studied, trained, risen to the Dark Council. What does it take to beat you? How can you be so powerful? I'm strong because I fight for others. People are counting on me. People who can't fight for themselves. If I fail, they suffer the consequences, so I can't fail. Please. It's clear that I'll never beat you. I... I, I don't... I, I don't think I even want to anymore. I just want to understand. I can't return to the Sith now. Not after this. They cannot help me become more than I am. Only you can. Hey there. Sounds like we won. Everyone all right? Some of the city guards were hit by the airstrikes, but we're pretty sure they'll make it. Looks like you have one prisoner. Was Petrif in the other shuttle that launched? Yes. He left as soon as I got here. I can help you. 
You can easily track him down with his sensor jammer's algorithm. I'll give you the algorithm, whatever you want. Yeah? How about the other fleets the Empire is targeting? Where will your friend strike next? Nekshar. It's an old mining outpost that was converted to a fueling station. I don't have the details, but that's our, uh, Malgus's next target. Really? Just like that? <laughs> Let's get back to the palace. We can sort all of this out there. Sounds good to me. Another one who I don't understand how she got to the Dark Council. Well, I mean, I understand all of the previous members were killed and they had to replace them with someone, but still. Then Savik's cooperation is sincere? She's actually told you the Empire's plan? Seems that way. I checked with General Dayrune and we have a fleet headed to Meksha for refueling. The pieces fit. Arn and I will head there right away to meet with the fleet's commander, see if we can start rooting out the imps. If we can stop them on Meksha like we did here, we might just stand a chance of defending Corellia. We'll stop the Empire, no matter what they have planned. Then let's get to it. See you on Meksha. Senator, thanks for everything. Safe travels. We've got Savik on an Alliance shuttle ready to move out. She says she wants to stay with us. Well, with you, mainly. Of course, the Republic prefers that we transfer her to their control. How would you like to proceed? Take Savik to Odessan. She could become a real asset to the Alliance. Right away. Please don't make us find some other idiot to work for. Uh, that is, we'd much rather work for you. We'll be glad to have you. Lana can set you up with quarters back on Odessa. Oh, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> We have your ship fueled and ready whenever you wish to depart. Using Savik's information, we've sent troops to follow King Petrif. We expect to have him back in a matter of days. His trial will be interesting, of course, but I'm more concerned with what will come after. If the nobles can agree, the question of leadership could turn violent. The nobles will have you to guide them. They'll make a smart choice. Thank you. I can only hope you're right. Good luck on Mechshaw, Commander, and on Corellia. Right. That way it brought the Andoranian storyline to its conclusion. And we 
finally got some new armor to replace the pieces that we did not need any longer. Step away for just a moment, and then we'll come back and begin our trip to Mech Shop. Alright, let us begin the Mekshaw storyline. Commander, this is Vice Admiral Narlock, commanding the Republic 29th Fleet. Welcome to Mekshaw. Narlock, you served on the Esselies, didn't you? It's been a long time. It really has. I'd hoped I'd have the chance to work alongside you again. I have a local contact who's helping me arrange refueling for our ships. Your Jedi friends are already here. Sending coordinates now. Narlock out. a place, huh? 
Commander, this is Jot, an old friend of mine. He served 30 years in the Republic Navy, and now he's Mechshaw's chief engineer. Call me Junker. Everyone does. And chief engineer's a bit fancier than we like around here. Me and my crew just keep things running. Lights, water, atmosphere. Mechshaw's neutral officially, but me and mine will back the Republic to the end. Whatever you need, we'll help you get. Thank you for lending us a hand, Junker. And I thought my days helping ground pounders out of trouble were done with. Junker's been working to get us the fuel we need. But it isn't as easy as I'd hoped. Like I said, Mechshaw's neutral. So your ships don't get topped off until the powers that be vote on it. See, Mechshaw used to be run by the Huts. The locals kicked them out while they were distracted with McKeb. Then started running things themselves. So all the big decisions come down to a vote by the leaders of the five biggest crews. Lucky for you, I'm one of them. Hutbreaker, she led the revolt. So now she runs the docks. She'll vote for you. Fuel sales go straight into her pocket. So you just need one more vote. Unfortunately, I'm no diplomat. <laughs> and sorry, Junker, but neither are you. So you need us to get the last vote. And stop whatever the Empire has planned. What else did Darth Savick tell us? We're dealing with Darth Shar. She's the Dark Counselor in charge of Imperial Logistics, which... doesn't sound very scary. Maybe. But you don't make the Dark Council just by getting supplies delivered on time. Never underestimate a Sith. If you're looking for Darth Sith, head, they'll be with the brothers. Just his apprentice, Bunch but of creepy now slavers down on the lower levels. Empire is their biggest customer. We can bet they'll show up in force as soon as the fleet starts refueling. We'd better plan out our defenses ahead of time. Could Arn and I scout out the docks a bit? I'd like to see what we're dealing with. Of course. I'll take you myself. We'll catch up with you later, Commander. All right, just us now. No need to put on airs. I know what you're thinking, because I think it too. You've got a whole big fleet out there and a tiny rock full of lowlifes here. Why not just roll in and take what you need? These people aren't our enemy. Forcing them to give us their fuel would be wrong. <laughs> Good answer. And on top of that, it just wouldn't work. Hutbreaker has a failsafe rigged up. Push a button, it fires a pulse that makes all the fuel on the station inert. Takes weeks to make the fuel useful again. Not the way you want to go, trust me. I got a much easier route for you. Hutbreaker's hosting an auction at her stronghold on the other side of the station. All the crew leaders will be there, and I can get you in. It's your best chance to start winning that last vote. What is Hutbreaker auctioning off? Couldn't even begin to tell you. All sorts of crazy stuff passes through Mechshaw. Crossroads of the galaxy. Now, let me just get a few things sorted and we'll get you on your way. One up! Who are you? I saw that lightsaber. Sith trying to take you out already? In the middle of my turf? Apparently so. We must have them worried. I'm the one who's worried. How'd he manage to get in here without setting off a single alarm? Speeders that way. I'll meet you at Hutbreaker's place in a bit. Gonna put more droids on perimeter security. Blasted Sith think they can just strut right in here. Such a warm welcome for us to receive, Commander, isn't it? Commander, heard you were on your way to Hutbreakers. Why don't you meet us inside? 
reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. We've never been invited to a party at Hutbreakers before. Shikaro has a bit of a crush on her, you know. <coughs> Just watch. You'll be too nervous to even talk to her. <coughs> Fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'm not here to con anyone. The Republic will give them a fair deal for the fuel. Settling for fair isn't what got these people to the top on Mech Shah. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hutbreaker. Revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune, but that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mechsha safe is her top priority. All right. What about the brothers? Jot mentioned they work with the Empire. Yeah, they're slavers, all part of some weird religious cult. The Empire buys most of their stock. A lot of the refugees who come through here end up in the brothers' pens, and Hutbreaker isn't above throwing troublemakers their way, too. Needless to say, you won't be getting their vote for anything that helps the Republic. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. First is Veek the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Wald, one of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like... Dar... Darma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gunrunners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Veek or Indigo. Got it. I appreciate your help. What are friends for? Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? <laughs> Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves! Now, we're masters! Imagine what we can become in just a few more years! All we've got to do is stay us. Be what we've been so far. We keep the peace, we keep the balance, and we keep moving forward! 
We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet. All they see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi. All the people who think they run things, who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding. Everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here! <laughs> Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy the speech? I can see how you were able to inspire the rebellion against the Huts. Well, the Huts did most of the work for me, if I'm honest. Someone just had to fire the first shot. Now then, please, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes? Narlok gave me his word. Servants of the Republic often espouse high ideals, even as their deeds tell a very different story. No need to be rude. Commander, this is Darth Shahn. Dark Counselor in charge of production, logistics, and civil order. How do you do? Darth Savick mentioned that we might find you here. She's been very cooperative. Ah, well, she must have been so disappointed not to have killed you. But then we wouldn't have had a chance to meet like this. I'm sure the two of you have a lot you could talk about, but we do have a previous appointment. Enjoy the auction, Commander. I do hope we get to meet again soon. Brother stares blankly, saying nothing. Do you lead the brothers? We are a brotherhood, united in noble purpose. We have no leader. Our path is obvious. We take beings without value and give them value. We give labor to those who suffer without purpose. Our works enable greater works. Our labors create laborers. Useless beings are made useful again. The galaxy is made better. Forcing someone to do things against their will is wrong. Slavery doesn't make the galaxy better. It destroys lives. Activity can only create. Idleness, apathy, inaction, these destroy. Your words waste breath that could be used productively. This entire event is a waste. We will witness no more of it. What do you want?
To the point. Let me return the favor. I'm looking for some help. Interested? You think Darmanda want to fight and die in your little war? You're out of your mind. We're doing just fine on Meksha. I'm here to get your help with our operations on Meksha. No fighting needed. Interesting. Depending on the details. Look, this isn't a good place to do business. Too many years. Maybe they can't handle that, and we'll see. It's always better to do business with friends. I'm curious. What's your stance on fueling the Republic ships? The sooner the better. I'm sure we can figure something out. Tony Machetu Castu Undile Gio Hola Lucuta Tony Machetu Kutsi Nanki He Wonderwa de Bloto Wichawa. Had enough fun for one night? I'm finished here. We heard about the assassin earlier. Glad you're still in one piece. They should have known one Sith wouldn't cut it with you. Did they send anyone after you or Arn? Not yet. It really is strange. You're the toughest of us all. Going after you one-on-one -on -one was a total waste. On the bright side, the docks aren't the defensive nightmare I was afraid they'd be. Plenty of good choke points, blind corners, and elevated positions. Hutbreaker doesn't want an invasion, so Narlock's only allowed to bring a limited deployment. He's rounding up his best troops now. Got a lot of practice working on droids on Osis, so I'll help Junker modify his service droids to help us fight. In the meantime, I sent Arn to stake out the Brothers' territory and watch for Imperial activity. If they send anyone after us, we'll know. Good work. I'm gonna meet with one of the crew leaders and get us that last vote. Good luck with that. I can't even get them to put in their work orders right. If you need anything, just say the word and we'll be there. Say a word. When have you ever cared about manners? Re 
Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Be safe out there. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Be safe out there. I prefer dealing with Mandalorians to dealing with smugglers, so we're gonna go and see what Indigo has to say. One of my favorite cantinas in the galaxy. Well, you showed up. <laughs> I prefer doing business here. Better drinks, no dress code, industrial waste disposal on the back if there's trouble. Let's pick up where we left off at the party. Well, let's start here. What exactly do you want from me? The Republic fleet has to get that fuel. I want you to vote to sell it to them. <laughs> I get it. You want to buy my vote? Very upstanding. Well. Everything's for sale at the right price. You know how this works. You do a little something for me first, and I'll consider it. What did you have in mind? You know that slimy little rhodium vink? 
Runs a smuggling crew. He's been raising prices on me. And I'm sick of it. Profits are thin enough without that bug-eyed scammer button in. I want him and his bodyguards dead. No witnesses. No chance the Darmanda catches the blame. I know the guy who's next in line. Done business together. He'll hire some of my guys as bodyguards and I'll be in a nice spot. So, there it is. Take out Vic, and the vote's yours. No deal. I won't be your assassin. Your call. Oh, good luck getting them votes. I'll be here if you reconsider. Okay, well, let's go see if Vic has a light side option that the commander can agree with. Otherwise, if it's going to come down to two dark side options and they both want to take each other out, then we'll side with Indigo. But I don't imagine that they would force your hands into doing something dark side. I could be wrong. We'll find out. Back to the taxi. Mechanized travel is for official business only. I worked with Harita Wong once. There were a few issues, but they paid on time.
Chon que faculta de opor a geoto caquice. Mas que puna mal e tuta, ó misca. Indigo was willing to vote my way in exchange for killing you. Um patati tok maki chisa chubala wawuni. Kafs to undile, jigo hola lukuta. Poco to pal kuchap tenguampa, la agua kilia jikoska. Chonki faguta jigo pora jeoto kakise. Ni ap um pampa, boshura moki. Who do you support? Nak manoya, no chaita. Tuta mishka, no chaita. Un pokom bak, ni jiton kagilis kichanaga. Una naikachu, ne tutu buga. Tukusa malachikuta, ikosa mose ala tuta. Patoga wa kiku bakile. What exactly do you need? O de este no ca? Um pa bituala, bituala ni bobo. Coia tuca, tchanga e capula. De mute que caça, do bom eles de oto. Bampaula, cava de oto. Um pa bituala, bituala ni bobo. You want to do business with the huts? O pagra o não a ca. Me bonau a de te utuipi. Kasu yali koyarang kenka kurun. Umpata ti tok maki chisa chubala wawuni. I didn't know the exchange was on Meksha. Kuchuso yumata chiko toya. Mato humpa muli ravavaba. Umpa bitwala bitwala ni bobo. Nokta chulna do beyala. Togawa kiku bakile. I'm not here to take down the exchange, but I'll rescue the envoy. Kuchuso you mata chiko toya. Ja aita ye chopa. Mitwana shoto.
First terminal was a bust, though it did draw the exchange's attention.
Papa Mechispa. You weren't invited to this meeting, Commander. Oh well. I gather your meeting with Veek is cancelled then. Kavaji Otatakogauta no pisto pampawuta. I must say, I am surprised Veek chose his reputation over saving a potential deal with the huts. So this was just a way to get back at Veek. In truth, both of our organizations lose millions of credits to Harido Wald every month. It's getting expensive. Kiko Ubo Kili Wata Panka Tonko Potoko Wata. Once Veek and his ilk are out of the way, we'll divvy up his roots and cruise between ourselves.
Chuso, you must have chico toya. Me gushu phone no dopa makma. They're dead. It was an ambush. She was working with the exchange all along. The huts and the exchange made a deal to kill you and split your resources between themselves. They, they didn't count on anyone else getting involved. It seems that will take some time. I have other priorities right now. Yes, that, that should be all. Is that you? Listen, I need your help. There are slaves. Dozens of them. The brothers are loading them into shuttles. Imperial shuttles. We have to stop them. I'm on my way. Thank you. We can't just let this happen. Now, do you read me? Arn is attacking the brothers. They're about to ship out slaves for the Empire. Blast it! I'll meet you there! I can never remember where the stairs are.
Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Place always creep me out. <laughs> Thank you. 
Arn. Slavers. Monsters. The worst scum in the galaxy. But I, I don't want to kill them. I didn't want to kill any of them. I just... I had to. They didn't give me any other choice, did they? There was no other way to get to the slaves and free them before it was too late. What else could I do? Was there some other way? Please, I have to know. You have to tell me. I, I wasn't here, Arn. You were. You, you made the call, and you saved those people. But that's the problem. I made the call. No one else. Just me. I doesn't know, but... When I was injured, the people we were fighting, they were slavers too. Back, back then, I, I couldn't stop them. Years of recovery and pain. Maybe I didn't want there to be another way. Maybe... Maybe I saw my chance to get payback, and I took it. I don't think that's who I am. I don't want that to be who I am. But part of me is glad they're dead. Of course it is. They were some of the worst scum of the galaxy. That doesn't make you a monster like them. It just makes you human. Jedi are supposed to be more than that. Arn! Are you alright? I'm sorry, Master. I'm, I'm sorry for all of this. I saw those people being rounded up and I, I couldn't... I, I didn't know what else to do. Oh, come on. The imps might send reinforcements. Let's get back to Junker's place and you can tell me everything. Supposed to be avoiding causing diplomatic incidents. And yet, don't think we did so hot this go round in avoidance. You didn't just hit the brothers, you practically wiped them out! We're, we're supposed to be keeping the peace! Arn was there on my orders. If you or Hutbreaker have a problem with what he did, take it up with me. You think I care that those creeps are gone? I'd give you a medal if I could. It's, it's Hutbreaker who wants our eyes over it. She's still willing to sell us the fuel? Yes, but for an extra 40%. Then let's stick to the mission. We don't need to give Arn any more grief than he's already giving himself. How is Arn? He's still struggling, but I've been there. I'll help him through. He'll hold his post when the time comes. The vote went in our favor, so I've got the fleet organized and ready to start refueling. We save Ben the Imps will show up as soon as we start, so we had better get ourselves into position right away. I'll meet you all here at the docks. Hey. I wanted to thank you for letting me know when Arn called you. I'm, I'm glad I had the chance to help him. I'm no Jedi. 
He needed your help more than he needed mine. I, I get the feeling he's glad to have both. Still, I, I appreciate your faith in me. My best troops. Wish I could bring more, but we're on thin ice with Hutbreaker as it is. Hmm. There are three main approaches the Inns could use for their assault. The main, main catwalks, the maintenance tunnels, or the docks themselves via shuttle. The main catwalk is the most direct route, so we'll have our strongest defense there. Commander, thank you. All right. What about the other routes? Arn and I would be best for the tunnels. Close, close quarters like that, they'll never make it past our lightsabers. My, my droids know those tunnels better than anyone. I, I'll send them to back you up. My troops will cover the docks as best they can. But our anti-aircraft weapons are limited. Once our ships start refueling, weapons and docking bays are disabled. Oh, you do good, Jungle Capula. Nia at Umbamba, Bushuna Moki. Kastu Lile, Gio Hola Nakuta. Ni at Umbamba, Bushuna Moki. Thank you, Vik. Really, really appreciate it. No, ye nevuta, Nakma. Oba ne puta, I say just cusco. Sounds like we're ready. Stay sharp and watch each other's backs. With a bit of luck, I might just make it through. We can do this! We must do this! For the Republic! Alright, and that is actually where we are going to end for today. I was hoping to finish the Mekshaw storyline, but since we had to do that first part of the, uh, the last part of the Alderanian storyline, we've run out of time. So we will conclude the Mekshaw storyline in the next one and begin the Corellian storyline. Thanks for joining me for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to join us over on twitch.tv slash Channel 2 for additional content. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.